Yes. So this is Chippy at the uh, Mirasol booth, at the Qual sorry, Mirasol stand at the Qualcomm booth. And it was two years ago here, uh, today I believe, just over the other side of this booth that I first saw the Mirasol technology. It was fairly slow to refresh, uh, the colours were pretty uh, poor, and there was no backlighting and uh, no touch. This one now has touch, this one has uh, backlighting, it's still the sort of pilot phase 5.7 inch uh, 1024 by 7.68 screen on this device and I think there's three actual devices in the market uh, in, in the east actually at the moment um, but Qualcomm if you remember earlier uh, I think last year they announced a new fab was being built in Taiwan that's coming online at the end of 2012 which means they will then be able to support uh, some mass production of screens, new screen sizes, new screen resolutions. Look at this one too, it's also got uh, backlighting here, so if I just take that to the side, and then if I bring that, hopefully you'll see the backlighting go off. I think the backlighting just went off there, and there it goes, back on again. Obviously the contrast in these colors, the density, uh, is not fantastic. This is not a sort of photo photograph quality screen, but for most reading activities, and that includes book reading, that includes web reading, and I would argue probably a lot of YouTube uh, access as well, where most people don't really care about uh, what the colour is of the baby that's laughing his head off is. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. The refresh rate looks to be uh, improved as well. Oh, and there's a touchscreen layer on this one as well. So, so that's an update on Mirasol. Look towards the end of 2012 for new products, new... Uh, customers from Mirasol and we hope to see tablets in the Western world pretty soon. This is Chippy at the Mirasol stand, Qualcomm booth, MWC 2012. Thanks for watching.